This video is about a good fish landing site in the Philippines. It has many uses for the fishers, fish traders, vendors, processors, and other residents. The Community Fish Landing Center, or CFLC, is a project of the country's Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources, or BFAR. A CFLC is managed together by local fishing communities and the local government. Having all services in one place can be helpful for the fisher folk. The CFLC is a well-positioned, multi-purpose building that aims to give better access for fisher folks to proper post-harvest facilities such as fish stalls and a loading area, among others. This will reduce post-harvest fish losses and with the end goal of improving the livelihood of poor fishing communities. The annual volume of loaded and unloaded fish and other bycatch in the CFLC during the last six years ranged from 300 to 500 metric tons. Based on the 2022 data, the CFLC benefits more than 3,000 municipal fishers, 800 municipal and commercial fishing boats, 58 fish retailers, and several traders. The construction of uh, CFLC, of course, was supported by the VFAR by providing all the necessary criteria for an ideal site for, uh, for the uh, fish landing site. VFAR provided the design of the CFLC, which is also the design of all CFLCs constructed all over the Philippines. A good fish landing starts with an ideal location and a practical design. The one in Bingalan is a major jump off and landing point for local fisher folk and commercial fishers in the area. It can easily be accessed by concrete roads. The CFLC is mainly made of concrete from its slab rooftop to its large posts. It also has a riprap or cemented loose stone that faces the ocean to protect the structure. The building is strong enough that even a Category 4 typhoon that hit Bingalan in 2020 did not damage it. The front part of the building is an open area for fisherfolk to sell and trade their catch. At the rear side of the building is one office room and comfort room with electrical and water connections provided by the Dingalan Water District. Local regulations have been passed to support the creation and management of the CFLC. These regulations provide the legal basis in the imposition of fees, co-management, and profit-sharing arrangements, as well as the administration of the day-to-day -day operations. Also, the beach area in front of the CFLC has been declared as the main landing and docking for local fisherfolk and commercial fishing boats. Other local regulations cover the transporting of fish and other aquatic products outside of the municipality and making sure their prices are affordable for the citizens of Tingalan. To make sure that the CFLC is well managed, the local government has created the Fish Port Management Committee, or the FMC, through a local ordinance. The FMC is composed of representatives from both the public and private sectors, including the provincial office of the BFAR. It is headed by the mayor. Here at the Community Fish Landing Center, there are different organizations involved. First is the local government, along with the retailers and business enterprises involved in fishing, as well as our fisher folks and boat owners. It is important to have a smooth relationship among them. If the community understands the benefits of having this site, they will follow the rules of the Community Fish Landing Center. The role of the FMC is to provide overall direction of its management. It approves long-term and short-term plans, recommends approval and disapproval of contracts, manages the staff, and develops CFLC day-to-day -day operation guidelines. 
but the day-to-day -day operations of the CFLC are handled by a small group of people. In our co-management, two groups take charge of the site. First is the local government unit. It has a manager, cashier, security personnel, and caretaker. We also have a cleaner. This ensures that the CFLC is clean every day. The collection for ducking or loading and unloading are remitted to the office of the treasurer of the local government. The facility has many uses for fisher folk, aside from docking for municipal, commercial, and passenger boats. The CFLC is an ideal place for post-harvest needs of fishers. These include unloading of fish from fishing boats, placing of fish on stainless steel tables, weighing of fish, loading of the fish to delivery trucks, selling and displaying seafood products, parking, and use of the rooftop and open area of the second CFLC building as a venue for trainings and other activities. Reasonable fees ranging from 19 cents of a US dollar to 1 US dollar and 44 cents are collected for boat docking. 0 0.096 cents of a US dollar for the first 50 kilograms of fish and 0 0.0038 cents of a US dollar for every excess kilogram for loading and unloading of fish catch. 0 0.0019 cents of a US dollar per kilogram as transshipment fee or fee for loading of fish from the CFLC to a vehicle that will travel to a market outside of the town. And two US dollars and 88 cents per stall per month for stall rental for fish selling display and others. But the use of water for cleaning and use of the public toilet are for free. The second group that co-manages one of the two CFLC buildings is the Dingalan Fisherfolk Federation. It is made up of smaller fisherfolk associations and has around 10,000 members, many of whom are fishermen who dock at the CFLC. The Federation makes sure that the transactions between the fisherfolk, the traders, and the CFLC management are smooth. Their goal is to acquire full management of the CFLC in the future. The Federation and the associations are very thankful for having the CFLC in our town because the docking of fish boats happens in just one area. So fishing boats are not scattered when they unload their fish catch. We can call for buyers right away. Out of the total fish caught by a boat that arrives here, say 1,000 kilos, 10% of the cuts is left for the Federation to sell to the local residents or to other buyers from neighboring towns as stated in one of our local regulations. That is why it is a huge help to us small-scale fishers. Another organization that benefits from the CFLC is the Dingalan Fish Vendors Association. Now, with over 100 members, they sell the fresh catch of the day installs between the first and second CFLC buildings. 10 the fishers not. leave 10% of their catch, especially the small fish, here at the CFLC. Because the fish are already here, we no longer have to go elsewhere to look for fish. We can buy fish in bulk here. We can share the catch among ourselves. We don't need to travel far. All of us vendors are just in one place. The CFLC has been a big help to us. We get our regular source of fish here. Because of the CFLC, we no longer have to spend on fuel just to sell in other places. We no longer need to run after the fishermen. We also no longer need to beg the traders to spare us good fish. Here at the CFLC, we can buy fish in bulk even with very little capital. Whatever we use to spend for loan interest or cost for transportation now goes to our income. That is the big help that the CFLC has given to us. The CFLC management also encourages traders to be legally registered in the local government. 
They can also get a local transport permit at the site so that they could bring their fish to markets outside of Dingalan. The good site, together with the good management of the CFLC, has attracted six traders to use it for their processing operations. The CFLC has been a great relief for us because we could now load our fish in just one place. And the paper wash for transporting our fish can also be processed there. The management of the CFLC has also been very organized. They have taught us how to take care of our fish and to preserve its freshness as we bring it to the market. Our work has become lighter because of them. The third people's organization known as Sukmip, made up of wives of fishermen, are the sole users of the second building of the CFLC. They use it for their processing of fish products. The second building was awarded to Dingalan with funding from the Senate of the Philippines because of the outstanding performance of the management of the first CFLC building. Sukmip handles the day-to-day -day processing operation, while the CFLC management handles costs for the electric bill, maintenance of equipment, and additional manpower. The CFLC has been a great help, especially our building here, for the processing of various types of fish. The good thing about where we are is that we are near the docking area for the fish. After the fish are unloaded there, it's just a short walking distance of 5 meters. We can already get the fish that we will use for processing various types of sardines and tuna and other processed fishery products. We have a lot of equipment given by the government such as a fish band saw, vacuum sealer, and freezers. It's now easier for us to process fish. Now, we earn 60% more than when we started in 2016. This has become an additional source of income for our family. On average, it takes about 2,500 US dollars per year to run the Dingalan CFLC. According to the report from the management of the CFLC, it earns about 2,000 US dollars per year, enough to cover its maintenance expenses. The rest of the cost of staff salaries is covered by the local government. To recap, a good fish landing site must have several qualities in order for it to benefit the local fishing industry. Aside from these, the site must be in an ideal location that can be easily reached by the community. It must also be made with strong materials, such as concrete, and be designed to make unloading, selling, and even processing of fish easy for the fisherfolk. It serves as a venue for monitoring boats and fishing gears, which discourages illegal, unregulated, and unreported fishing activities. It also serves as a venue for various activities for fisher folks. And lastly, it helps to easily record the fish species landed and seasonality of cuts. But to make sure that it becomes truly successful, there must be a good relationship between public and private organizations. Different government offices and fisher folk organizations must work together to create regulations and systems to make sure that all parts of the facility are used well. This would help prevent fish losses, improve the income of fisherfolk, and help boost the fishing industry of a locality. Music